What's going on ladies and gents, Pimply Peter back at you once again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to acquire, charge, and use the Eganarch, or more commonly referred to as the <coughs> Rune by me and my buddies uh, in Destiny, the Taken King. Okay, so first off, if you already have the Eganarch Rune charged, uh, and you want to know what it's used for, just go ahead and skip about 3 minutes of this video and uh, start from there. However, if you do not have one or want to know how it's charged, uh, here's what you do. You're gonna go ahead and launch a patrol mission on the Dreadnought. Uh, once you're on the Dreadnought, just go ahead and run around and search for one of these taken grenade slash orb type looking thing. And just simply walk up to it. Now as soon as you walk into it, uh, it should uh, explode and disappear. And after a few seconds, a couple of waves of enemy will spawn. Simply defeat them and a major uh, taken uh, will appear. Uh, just go ahead and kill that enemy and you should have one charge. And if you do not have a char uh, the rune, you should get one. Now uh, the spawn for these orbs are a bit random and at the same time they're not. And what I mean by that is every day there will be a different enemy. So for example, uh, the day I'm recording this is Monday and on Monday Cernan the Dark Song will always spawn in the Hall Breach. Uh, she won't spawn anywhere else like you know the uh, Mausoleum or Court of Works. She'll only appear on the, the Hall Breach. However, um, she won't spawn at this specific location. She'll spawn at a random location in Hall Breach so you're gonna have to look around uh, and look for the orbs. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind is you can only charge it once per character. Um, however, one interesting note is if you put the rune in the vault and uh, retrieve it with your alternate character, you could actually charge it with that as well. So, um, right now, I don't know if it's a glitch, but you can charge it a total of three times per day. So, we should probably get that done before Bungie decided to patch it or whatever. I don't know if it's working as intended, so yeah. Now uh, right now in this video I actually have it fully charged so I'm just going to run over to where you activate it just to show you guys where it is. Um, but once I get there I'm going to do a quick edit and switch to my hunter because uh, that's the character that I got most of these fragments with and I want to try to finish it with my hunter instead. So just pay close attention and follow my path and you shouldn't have any problem finding the uh, console to which this uh, room goes into. Okay, so once you're here, you're gonna see this little crack. <laughs> uh, I gotta go through it and activate this sucker. Uh, once that's activated, just head back to the main chamber and kill all the things. Um, now, I did get lost a little bit, just ignore that. Um, once you kill everything, a chest will spawn. Go ahead and open it, and you should get your fragment as well as a legendary gear. No, wait, correction. I got a legendary gear. Uh, you may or may not get one. Uh, don't hold me to that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this video, and uh, I hope this video has been somewhat informative. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, sub. So uh, yeah, as always, until next time, you guys take care, and I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>